From 1939 to 1941, the German plan to invade the Iberian Peninsula, Operation Isabella. Spain's status in the war was ambiguous. In one sense, it was clearly a spectator, standing on the sidelines, yet its strategic significance was potentially enormous. As Europe spiralled into war through the summer of 1939, the status of Spain was something of a riddle. Its natural sympathies appeared to be with the Axis powers. After all, Franco was a dictator, and a sworn enemy of communism and all its works. For all his, often brutal, authoritarianism, however, he had little patience with the world-changing rhetoric or the totalitarian philosophies of fascist Italy or Nazi Germany. A simple soul ideologically, he supported the old institutions of church and state. In diplomatic terms, too, he liked to do things his own way an aggravating ally. Franco may have been a monster, but he was nobody's fool and nobody's puppet. Hence Hitler's exasperation and eventual anger. For all his sympathy with German aspirations, Franco, a seasoned soldier, was skeptical about Hitler's power to achieve them. Put brutally, he believed he might well lose the war. Spain had much to lose as well, specifically the Canary Islands. The British Navy would make short work of seizing them, hence his hesitancy and his temporising. In the end, Spain's most serious contribution was the service of several thousand volunteers in the German cause. Many in this so-called Blue Division fell on the Russian front, but Franco was to prove a frustrating partner. For all the warm words he offered, he thought only of himself and Spain never giving the Nazi leader the wholehearted support that Hitler had believed to be his right. An Iberian irrelevance? Up to a point, it didn't matter where the Spanish dictator's loyalties lay. It was centuries since Spain had been a superpower, and now the country had been left broken by three ferocious years of civil war. Its starving people had no fight left in them, its economy was shattered, Hitler himself had been wary of acquiring an ally who would cost him much more in assistance than it could conceivably supply him in support. Yet he had hoped for more cooperation from General Franco than he seemed to be receiving in October 1940 at the meeting they had together on a train in southern France. Spain still mattered, Hitler believed, and not just because British Gibraltar might be attacked from its territory and control established over the entrance to the Mediterranean. As was the case with Ireland, German strategic thinking saw not only offensive opportunities, but defensive dangers. What if the Allies came up through Spain to open a southern front in France? Sketchy Strategy From the German point of view, then, Spain wasn't a peripheral as Franco chose to believe. The Cordillo's prevarications over Operation Felix infuriated Hitler, who decided to take action, with or without consent. He set out his plan of Operation Isabella in June 1941. It was back-of-an-envelope stuff, not much more than the hastiest of outlines. Though Hitler tended to believe his roughest sketch was law, he did, however, appreciate that with a new front about to open in the Soviet Union, Isabella would have to wait. In the event, the plan did indeed wait and wait and wait, as Operation Barbarossa first flagged and then failed. 